start out by laying a foundation of a few, um, what I see as elemental uh, principles of truth. Uh, one, as each one of us, man, woman, we're each human. And as humans, we are having a physical experience. We're physical beings. And we interpret our physical experience through our physical senses. Uh, also, another truth is that consciousness is producing our creation. It's not the other way around where creation is producing our consciousness. But we, we are the causal factors as, as consciousness in what we are creating in our experience. Another elemental truth that I wanna bring forth is that uh, what we teach as the one law, and that's a radiation response. It is a, a fundamental operation throughout creation. And how I see that, or to explain it right now, is that there's always influence that's happening. Either we're radiating and we're being an influence in some way, or we're responding and being influenced by something else. So with those three things, what's been inspired in me from last week's service is an idea that through creation, we have this, uh, something is always being created by consciousness. And we have God consciousness, which has created this entire realm in the physical that we call nature. And it's the essence of the mother, this nature experience. And then the essence of the father in the invisible is this essence of love that we have connection to. And then also we have human consciousness. Here, us, we are creators. And whether personally or collectively, our consciousness is creating something that I think we call culture. Our human consciousness is creating culture. And we're either influencing it or we're being influenced by it as the natural one law of radiation response describes. So what I wanted to share in this time is this idea that if we are responding to human culture and that which is around us, then we're actually kind of hardening and crystallizing in our forms. The, the, our mental forms, our physical forms, they're, they're hardening. And so they're very difficult. It's like our house of consciousness is being locked down and spirit has to, has to try to break in because it, it's, it wants to bring that love to us to make all things new. But if we're locking things down by responding to human culture, it has to break in. That's the only way because we're, we're blocked off. And so then we radiate out of what we're responding to and we've got this loop of human culture coming in, human culture going out, and it's unnatural. That's not how we were created. But if we begin to spend some time in nature and we respond to nature, which is the mother energy, then we soften, we relax, we become moldable and are able to be transformed. It's like unlocking the doors and opening the windows in our house of consciousness. There's now space for spirit to come in and we radiate life. It's a natural flow. And then if we're responding to love, the father energy, well then we completely melt. We lose the forms of our, our mental constructs. We become mutable and become transmuted. Throw the door open in our house of consciousness. Put out the welcome sign. Let spirit in and invite it to come into our house and make all things new. Then we radiate love. We become supernatural in our flow. And this is the key that David's bringing. This is what all spiritual teachers, enlightened masters, thought leaders, and change bringers through history have done. They're responding to love, to nature, and then radiating that into human culture and creating something new in the wake of their presence and the wake of their living. That's what we're called to bring today. And so may it be, let us be that presence.